Okay, here we go. So here's the outside and there's a car going down the street, 25 miles an hour. That house across the street is considerably smaller, by the way, just to let you know. Um, the rest of the houses on the street are probably smaller. The, the nice thing is that the guy next door has a garage that's separate, so you, you're not going to hear them at all. So that's always nice. Anyway, this is all uh, pretty much maintenance free. This is all like um, sided. This is, this is, these are not those, those the shutters are wood, but the underneath the soffit is sided. Okay, not locked out. Okay, so here's the front entrance and then double closet. Staircase, pretty the pretty floors. So living room. I'm gonna kind of go sort of quickly. I don't want you to get sick. But then the hallway. So at the back of the living room, there's this room that would have been at one point probably some kind of porch with the ceiling, the tile that needs to come down. But as we said, we don't think it was leaking. We think it's just a matter of old, oldie but goodie. Okay, so this room could be a great mud room. It does not have heat though. Um, so you probably wanna put heat in here if you put your boots on. So this is nice because you can take the front of the house up. Here's the garage, which we can't get in, but it's nice because the light's on. So you can kind of see how nice it is. And more cabinets in there. And then there's a door to the back, which you can't see, and a glass block window. And then here's the outside. I'm going to see if I can get around through the kitchen because this door is impossible to lock. So I'm going to slam this. Pardon me. And then there's this window that's got a broken seal. This is the back hall. Here is the little powder room, which is in pretty good shape. And then another double closet back here. So there's good closet space. Same. So it goes back into the living room. This goes to the basement. This is the front. So another way to get into the kitchen. Here is the kitchen. And lots of wallpaper. Cabinets are okay, blondish, all the way to the ceiling. No wallpaper on this wall, but wallpaper here. There's the oven. So there's, you know, it's a nice setup. And then here's the dining room. Goes back to the front hall. And then the living room's over there. And of course I'm doing this the wrong way. I'm doing it vertically, but. You get the drift, I think. Let's see if I can get out this way. Oh, no, okay. I have to do a backyard some other way. There's a, a little log in the door to keep people from breaking in. Okay, so going up. Mm -hmm. This is the hall bath. Um, you really, a lot of it's, it's not, I mean, a lot of this could be handled with decorating. Um, that was a little tub. This is the master, which has a door, which if you wanted to expand out this way, you could certainly do that. But you can see, I mean, like, the yard is quite nice. It's fenced all the way around. This window overlooks the roof of the garage and a little breezeway. So I think this is only a, I think that's a double bed, maybe a queen, maybe a queen. So it's, but there's certainly plenty of room. You have the old uh, plugs for the phone. Uh, kitchen, or kitchen, bathroom, little vanity area without handles. 
So some of it's been redone here with big mirror. And only one sink, but certainly room to do another one if you wanted. The shower's in good shape. Again, tiled all the way around. And then you got this cute little bedroom. This is the smallest bedroom. And then it's got a double closet there. Somebody was wallpaper falling down. And then this bedroom, which would probably be Olympia's bedroom, I'm guessing. Just a little bit bigger, but all hardwood floors under the carpets. And then that's it. So I'll go down to the basement. Okay, so basement. Handrails needs to be tightened a little bit. So bar area, which is cute. Um, this is the area where they said they had it waterproof along this side, but nice bar area. And this is for logs on this side. And then this is the fireplace. And I don't know. I don't, I don't see a gas starter, but there's something hanging there that's kind of weird. Okay, then there's glass block windows all along. I mean, they obviously uh, at some point had water down here, you can see, because it, um, but, no. Big window, there's the electrical, which your dad took pictures of for you. And then we'll see area here. This is a bathroom down here. And that. And then I'm going back around because there's some lights. lights and some closets. All right, so we're going in the dark. Okay, switches. Got to come in from the front area. So there we go. There's lots of storage closets. This is your like original kitchen here. This storage areas there. Here. This is, uh, let me see if you can figure it out what it is. Hard to tell. And then that's that. Let's see if I can get out. Okay. So there's a little gate that takes me along this way. little brick paver patio here and then that's remember when I said the steps over that window here's the door wall of the kitchen so this is kind of nice I would put backing on that but it's only me so that's that little room probably could use some jazzing up there somehow but the backyards you know got nice privacy arbor vitae on this side a lot of blue spruce and there are some wires, but they're not very many. And a lovely little fountain. And then there's that little back room. There's the back of the garage. So that floor plan that they did was so wrong that um, the city has on file. I don't know where they, they got that. But yeah, a little ledge rock wall, retaining wall. And, you know, the grass is pretty in good shape. Oh, there's a little clothesline over there too. Um, let's see, it has a nice... This, so there's some hydrangea. I don't know what this is. 
I have no idea what that is. But, but it's the only thing flowering right now. Because it's winter. Um, but yeah, you can, I don't know if you can see, there's some really pretty big houses down that way now. If that house came on the market, it'd be way more expensive. That one with the stone. Um, but yeah, the darn sun is getting in the way, but. Cute. Well, I mean, it's a lot more house than a McMillan house, and it's the same price as like a, the, the houses on McMillan. There's one that just sold on Meriwether for five twenty-five. So, um, you know, prices are going crazy. They're getting Seattle-like. Okie dokie. I'll send this off to you later. Bye.